guys, how you doing? I'm mailing and or packaging all my paintings. This one's gonna go to a girl in Hawaii. So it's a 16 by 20. I'm gonna show you how I ship my packages. I've got I just packaged three 16 by 20s and Carrie's is gonna go out tomorrow. So I got one more to go. So don't get my face, Tanner. I'm gonna move forward and get that bubble wrap. So don't get my face. <laughs> okay, so I don't use boxes for the customer. It's cheaper for the customer to pay for the shipping. So the first thing that I do is I will get parchment paper. Don't go wild with the camera now. You can get parchment paper at the dollar store too, and then you can buy the real good Reynolds parchment paper. It doesn't matter. And then I take that. And wrap that area. Then another piece. First bedroom. Okay. And we know that tape is not going to stick to the parchment paper, so. I use my keys. So make sure that this is centered to where there's about that much sticking off at each end. That helps, it gives it some padding too. That's not going to stick anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But I put it there anyway, and then I wrestle with it every time anyway. <laughs> Sticks for a second. I hope you're not getting me in the camera because my face, my hair right now. Okay, so then once I got it in my parchment paper, I'm going to basically just flip it over. Oops, wait a minute, I got the bubble wrap first. See, it's hard to come off. And then I get my cardboard, any cardboard that fits. So this is exactly perfect, a pizza box. <laughs> 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 okay. Then I get my bubble wrap. So there, yeah, there, if you use cardboard, it's all good, but the customer's going to pay a lot more money for shipping because it's heavier. Then I put my wrapper. Just do it once. protect it so in case something jams in it and this part is going to be protected with more bubble wrap and this fold okay actually I am going to put it I usually put a piece of cardboard in there too so I have an extra piece so that's great that way nothing can jam into it And the parchment paper is so that nothing, it, in case it's in humid weather, it's not sticky. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Okay, so 
then I usually get my side grid all down. This is protecting the corners also. Yeah, my customers like it because it's cheaper for them. Okay. So you can make your own boxes too in case you do want to box them. You can take any boxes and just tape them together. Make your own. Then what I do is I take this bubble paper. Okay? Never has failed me yet. And it goes through quite a bit of this though. Like 15 bucks a roll. But I do charge them for the wrapping also, packaging. I add just a little bit on. Especially if they're big packages. And I just put that together right there. And I start with sealing this off. Oh, no, where's that one? Always does that. You know how you stop that right away? Holds up. That's it. Don't hit my face. Then I'll fold it again. Just get in the corners. Don't try to get my face. Okay. So get that one down that seam. Fold this one. That way you're not sitting there struggling. Okay. So now we're going to go with the corners. You're getting my face completely now. Don't get me my face. Tanner, please, honey. Are you getting my face? No. I'm gonna do the same to this corner. Are you getting my face? No. I'm not. So the more snugger it is the better it is. Okay, so we've already got it protected good. Now we're going to secure the heck out of it. This tape that you go through. Big rolls of tape. Okay, so then pretty much all I do is just keep on going. And then I put your address down. And I, with a marker, then I tape down their address too. I put tape on top of the marker in case that smears or so. I'll write their name, address, put tape over it. That's it. So now I'm just going to keep going like each di direction back and forth. I'm even going to go around the corners. Watch. Okay. I'm 
going to go back and forth even more here wherever these are. And that's it, guys.